The brother of an American journalist being held in Iran is set to testify on Capitol Hill today. Ali Rezaian will call for the release of his brother, Washington Post reporter Jason Rezaian. The California native is in prison facing espionage charges. He has both American and Iranian citizenship. Elizabeth Palmer is in Tehran where she spoke to his lawyer and has new information this morning. Elizabeth, good morning. Jason Rezaian's case has been shrouded in mystery and murk from the very beginning. Just a few hours ago, his lawyer said that he will get a second court appearance this coming Monday, and even this tiny concrete piece of information counts as a major development. For more than 10 months, Jason Rezaian has been a prisoner in Tehran's Evin jail. Until last summer, he was living with his wife just a couple of miles west of that jail in a neighborhood of high-rise apartments and middle-class families. He was working as the Washington Post's correspondent, and his articles explored a country that has long been closed to most Americans. One of his last pieces described baseball in Iran. Then, with no warning, one night last summer, security men raided his apartment. It wasn't until last week that he finally got his day in court in a closed trial controlled by hardliners. The case is so secretive and sensitive that Rezaian's lawyer, Leila Ahsan, would only speak to us by phone to say her client is innocent. How confident are you that Jason will get a fair trial and a fair verdict? It would be illegal for me to comment any further, she said. But conservative media here are commenting plenty. Even before a verdict, they're calling him a spy who sold information to the U.S. and deserves to be locked up. Jason Rezaian's mother is here in Tehran, and I spoke with her just a little while ago. She saw him this morning, and he told her that one of the things that's keeping him going is limited access to sports coverage on television and following his beloved basketball team, the Oakland-based Golden State Warriors. Gail? Wow. Uh, well, then he, he's got a lot to feel good about. I'm glad he could see his mother. Thank you, Elizabeth Palmer in Tehran.